What's good YouTube? I'm back with another good video fellas. Women who blame men for all their issues are childish. Fuck it, I said it. They're childish. They're the most childish women out there. And if you don't like what I'm saying in my videos, if you disagree with my videos and you don't fuck with it, the unsubscribe button is right there. And here's the problem. We have a lot of women out there who blame men for everything that happens to them. She's got seven kids with three different baby dads. And she's pointing the fingers, talking about, well, if your pullout game was strong, maybe I wouldn't have got pregnant. You have some women who go out on dates with guys. They don't acknowledge that guy throughout the whole date. She eats till her belly is stuffed. And she's talking, when the bill comes, she's talking about, well, if, 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 you didn't, if you didn't know you couldn't pay for me, why would you take me out? Why take me out if you couldn't pay for my meal? You have some women who get into relationships, get into marriages, have kids with this guy. And all you ever hear from them is, I want, I want, I want. And here's the thing about a smart woman. A smart woman knows that she needs to give something in order to gain back. So all you ever hear from her is, I want, I want, I want. And when this guy realizes this woman is nothing but a trick and she's only using me for my resources, and he decides to put his foot down and say, no, I won't allow you to treat me like this anymore. I won't allow you to disrespect me no more. She kicks this guy out. And then she blames him for not being present in the, in the child's life. And now this child is 23 years old, grows up to be the very man that women disrespect, women walk all over, doesn't have self-respect, doesn't carry himself with value. And then she turns around and blames that man for not teaching that kid to be a real man. And I don't give a fuck what anyone says. A woman can't teach her son to be a real man. Why? Because she's not a man herself. She can only teach him what she thinks a real man will be, what a real man looks like. But ultimately, there's still some things that that child has to learn that only his father can teach him. And then you have some women screaming, oh, I'm independent, I don't need a man. I want to do my own thing. And then they raise a child who is emotional. They raise a child who is a bum, a child who expects women to do everything for him because mom has pampered him all his life. He can't control his emotion. Now he's turning around and disrespecting you as his mother and you turning around and you're blaming the man, even though you're the one that kicked him out. And what this shows is the mindset of a lot of women out there and it's straight up childish. You, you've got seven kids by three different baby dads and you're still talking about, well, if your pull out game was strong, maybe I wouldn't be pregnant. You're talking about, oh, this drug dealer broke my heart. He never loved me. You're talking about, oh, this street gigolo stole all my money. He didn't care about me. You're talking about men are trash, men are dogs. But what involvement do you have in attracting these type of guys? Mature women take responsibility for their action. Immature women blame others. A smart woman would be like, well, okay, so I'm still young. I'm still trying to get my degree. Right now is not the right time to have a child. Right now is not the right time to, 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 to be holding, to, to, to be pregnant. Let me go on the contraception. Let me go on the pill. Let me get the coil or an implant. But now you, you want to be blaming the guy. And then you have some, some guys out there who all you ever hear from them, all they ever do is pander women. They're pandering to women. Well, if he's left you, then it's his fault because you should have been doing X, Y, Z. And then you have some hardcore feminist talking about fuck men, be independent, teaching you guys X, Y, Z. But what involvement do you have in your marriage falling apart? But now nah, everyone wants to blame the man. The man is this, the man is that. You have some women out there who, all you ever hear from them is, I want, I want, I want, and when it's time to give back, oh, I don't do that because I'm not a pick me girl. I want, I want, I want, 
But when it's time to give back, oh, I don't do that because that's wifey stuff. Oh, I'm independent, I don't need no man. So a man is supposed to tolerate your disrespect, tolerate your bullshit. It doesn't work like that. And to all you guys pandering women out there, you know you're only doing that shit because you're trying to fuck. And that makes you even more dangerous because you are a wolf in sheep clothing. And I know after this video, you're gonna have some women who are gonna come up in here and talk shit. Even though I'm speaking nothing but facts. But I'm gonna tell you this now, yeah? You're always going to come back to the truth because the truth is in this video right now. The truth is in the message I'm trying to preach to you guys. And when you realize that guy pandering you, it's not that nice guy you thought he was and he's just trying to fuck, you're gonna come back to the truth. You see this, this red pill content? You can take it one or two ways. You can either embrace femininity, embrace female nature and how women behave and accept it, or you can bitch about it all day, complain about it all day. I'm choosing to embrace how women behave because at the end of the day, let me tell you something about a real alpha. Real alphas don't complain about women. Real alphas don't bitch constantly about women. Why? Because female nature benefits us. So when she's doing all that bullshit, when she's cheating and when she's allowing that, that, that side nigga to come through the back door, guess who that side nigga is? It's me. It's the alpha male. So we don't need to sit here and complain about female nature and what women are doing because at the end of the day, that shit benefits us. At the end of the day, that's why real alphas don't complain about women because at the end of the day, we're the niggas that they fucking. You guys have to stay woke out there. Fellas, you have to stay woke out there. You need to see the world for what it is. You need to see what's going on in this world. You can't be naive. We're seeing it every day. So fellas, when she's, first of all, you need to be in a situation where you have your own shit together. I'm always preaching this shit. Have your shit together. You never want to be in a position where you're being kicked out of the house. When that's your house, can't nobody kick you out of your own house. So don't be living up with a bitch and then she's kicking you out. Make sure you have your own shit together and I keep preaching this message. Fellas, have your shit together. Don't allow no woman to disrespect you. So when she's telling you you're not a real man because you said no to her, Oh, for real? Okay, that's what's up. I'm not a real man. I feel you. I guess I'm not them. Don't put yourself in a position to be at a detriment. And what you need to realize is when you put your foot down and you say no, what the women need to realize out there is a man saying no to you doesn't necessarily mean he doesn't love you. What you're asking for just might be a detriment to his to his principle. If you're doing some bullshit, I'm gonna check you up on it. And if you don't like it, and you don't want me around, I'm fucking gone. So me saying no to you doesn't mean I don't fuck with you or I don't care about you. What you're asking for might just cross my line and I'm not gonna allow you to do that. Fellas, carry yourself with high value. At the minimum, you should have your own place. At the minimum, you should have your own car. At the minimum, you should have a secure job. I'll say have at least four streams of income. That is the goal. That's the goal we're setting for each other now. Four streams of income. Whether it's a job, side hustle, whatever you're doing, investing, get your stream of income. Get your money together. Don't allow no bitch to kick you out of the house. Like because it's her house, she's kicking you out. Because you said no to her, I won't allow you to disrespect me. I'm gonna put my foot down and now she wants to kick, kick you out. We're not fucking with that, we're not with that. Fellas, you need to get your shit together. I keep preaching the same message. You need to get your shit together. And to the women out there, Keep listening to that nigga who's pandering you, telling you everything you want to hear instead of what you need to hear. 
because when his mask falls off, when you see him for who he is, you're going to be back to the truth. And the truth is this video right here. I don't want to make this video any longer than it needs to be. Like, comment, subscribe, hit me up in the DM, fellas. I'm out.